hey, when you're on a roll, you're on a roll, right? Man, sometimes this is a kick. You guys ought to try it. You guys ever heard of Article 3 of our Constitution? I think it's like the judiciary or something. And I think like Article 1 is the legislature and Article 2 is the executive branch. Somewhere I heard that it was supposed to be like the supreme law of the land or whatever. Not like people know what that means. Or not even know who it's actually for. <laughs> I'll have to uh, thank my friend for referring me to the Idaho statesman today that completely made my head explode. I don't think I need to apologize for the past video though because it was fun to do. And I know that my intentions are right. Yeah. Anyway. Today I'm finding out, here's an, the, the other thing that I found today was actually on page A6. It says, with right divided, united left drove the Supreme Court. Now forgive me guys, you know I kind of talk about the Constitution and all of that. I love my country. I love my fellow Americans. I don't like tyranny much. But I'm not finding out anywhere where it talks about liberal and conservative judges. What I do know through the history and stuff that I've read is there was this thing called blind lady liberty. And I think it had something to do with equal justice under the law, no matter who you were, that the, act, the laws that were created were actually applicable to everyone equally. Or at least I think that's the intent. It's skip aside the jurisdictional issues and all of that. Basi in a basic sense, the laws that were created or apply to all people equally. So we have this court thing. And you know, I think one of my biggest rants is that the courts can't rule. Kings rule. Judges, I don't think in here, say that they have the authority to rule. So what we have here is it said the discipline of the four liberal justices, no equal justice under the law anymore, uh, led to a surprising series of high-profile, immoral, unconstitutional acts, including blockbusters like a movie, right? The same-sex marriage and the President Barack Obama's health care. Hmm, sounds like Barack Obama is writing a law. Appointed by Democrats, uh, that is the, let's see, Obama's health care, the court's liberal wing. Is that like West Wing? I didn't realize that the court had wings. Maybe it had a Red Bull. I don't know if it had a Red Bull. Do you think it had a Red Bull? And then it, says, it makes another reference and it says, the most liberal one since the Warren court in the 60s. The disagreement among the Republican appointed judges. The analysts credit the leadership of the Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Mrs. Constitution is in the way. We're going to adhere more to international law, which is complete open treason, and you should be impeached. Miss Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Can't believe you can still hear. Then we have the divisions on the right. So the entire article is, is, is agenda-driven, perfect for the Idaho statesman. Right, left judges, right, left decisions, right, left this. Not one time did I see the word constitution in this article relating to Article 3 in the judicial branch. Why do you suppose that is? Do you think the judiciary is part of a private corporation? Like maybe the rest of the government? You think they're owned and operated by multinational corporations? Hijacked by special interest groups? They've already claimed to side. When you go before four liberal judges and you happen to be a right-wing extremist, you're pretty much in trouble, aren't you? No. If you happen to be a sodomite with a gun and you happen to shoot people, you know, and you're in front of a liberal court, they'll probably give you a pass. And this is why this is dangerous. And this is another issue of why the agitation factor growing between law enforcement and its citizens is dangerous for law enforcement. And in case you don't understand what I'm saying, here's the situation, right? I'm driving around. I'm a little agitated. I got in a bad mood for something. I was driving down the road. Cop pulls me over, right? I just yell at him for some reason, right? We're all guilty of doing that. We don't really mean to. They just, 
They are our first altercation with our government. And if we happen to have issues with tyranny, for example, with the government overreach from every branch of authority, the legislature that has no idea of their oath, all of those things that agitate, the first person that gets that is law enforcement. And then the next person that gets that, if you're a man, it's probably your wife, right? We always do that, right? We don't mean to, it's just human nature. We get frustrated, we don't know what to do, we feel like we're not effective, and we try to do whatever we can. So what happens is, is the law enforcement guy says, hey, I'm just doing my job, it's just beyond my pay grade, you need to take it up in the courts. Well, from a position like me that's been pulled over a couple of times, I already know what that means. Number one, I mean, it means that the law enforcement officer doesn't know his oath. The other thing that it means is the fact that he's handed me over judi to a judiciary that is biased, that does not offer any point of fact in equal justice under the law, with exception of a few. Canyon County had a great magistrate I was in front of that did an awesome job, um, and a couple of other things. But this is kind of how we become agitated. So we have the government telling us what to do. We're going to, oh, yeah, we did something wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's against some statute by some legislator that didn't understand the Constitution because they're liberal judges. So then we get pissed at law enforcement, right? So then we had something else happen and something else happen and maybe we had a divorce. Or we had something else. So something's escalated, right? So then the cop gets a little bit violent because he had a bad day at the same time that we had a bad day and all of a sudden it's all going on. I think that's what the liberal media is hoping for, isn't it? So then what happens is we go before a judge, we're actually slam bam, here's a $300 fine, and we walk out of there pissed knowing that we have liberal judges, we have ignorant le legislators for the most part, um, or hijacked legislature, I can't even figure out which, um, and law enforcement that's in the middle, and the citizens that are in the middle. And I know a lot of law enforcement, you guys, I know they're good men and women. I know that, uh, I know that a lot of them are worthy of the work they do. And it's those that I want to reach out to and those I want to protect. So I know that things are beginning to become agitated. You know, the agitation factor is going to increase. This is planned. This is a planned overthrow of our Republican form of government to institute a socialist government. When this has happened, for my limited knowledge in history, people have died. People have fought for their freedom and they were gunned down in public. I don't see that being any different here in America. I would hope that it's not going to be that way, and I'll do whatever I can to lessen, diminish, or eliminate that from happening here. So I wanted to be able to share with you guys, we've got a corrupt Supreme Court. Everybody believes that they're the supreme law of the land. They're not. All they can do is offer opinions. They have no enforcement mechanism. When Obama says he's going to enforce the law, he's going to be enacting, he's going to be probably using his brown shirt army, the DHS, to be able to make that happen. And the DHS, of course, whether they're well-intentioned or not, I can't tell at this point. It wouldn't appear that way. But when you're fed uh, misinformation by the Southern Poverty Law Center and they're made to fear for their lives, and anything's possible. I never thought I'd ever see America like this. And I can't even imagine that I have to leave my kids behind in this mess when I'm gone. So join with me, guys. Let's fight. Let's party. Let's, um, let's try to prevent absolute chaos from abounding. Let them know who we are. We're Americans. Let's act like it. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.